it's your girl, the Handy Home Girl, and I am here in my very first homey hookup bedroom. My friend Stoney is uh, let me into her home to redo uh, her master bedroom, and I'm super excited. Right now, this is kind of like an in-between before and after. I'll have some pictures of what her room looked like, like before, before, and then they went ahead and painted this wall. I picked out this wall color for them. I really love this color. It's like this really almost like light blue kind of see for me. I love this color. I'm like, I don't even think it's going to come out that good. I really love this color. Um, and um, only thing, let me show you, come over here. The only thing that we're probably, this was her inspiration here. So we have orange, blue, and like, um, that's pretty much it. So we're probably going to keep this, everything. She didn't really have much in here. Like when you see from the other videos, she did not have much in this room. So... I am about to really start putting things together up in here. And so she's out right now at Home Depot. And then she'll be back. And she won't see you when she gets back right away. But, you know, she's not the way downstairs until I get it all together. And I can't wait to show you the reveal. I'm going to put this room together. And you're going to see all of the DIYs that I use for this room on my blog at thehandyhomegirl.com. So make sure you go to the website and check out all the tutorials on how to make the DIYs for this room. All right, I'll see you in a sec. I'm about to get to work. All right, hey guys. So here are the dresser fronts that I did for her dresser. I really uh, just painted them. These are original dresser drawers. I paint them, primed them white, paint them white. And my neighbor gave me like these really cool overlays that he had in his garage. I'm like, oh my god, this would be so cute to re kind of reface her dresser. And I just I got brand new knobs. And so here are her new dresser fronts. And I think they came out amazing. Might switch them up a little bit. Um, but other than that, this is what it looks like. Looking good so far. I put it all together. Hey, homies. So the remodel is coming together nicely. Sir and I just got done playing electrician. I was so nervous that the chandelier was not gonna work, but it looks gorgeous, y'all. Like, I am so excited. I'm about to put the bedding on, um, put the lamps, through. so a couple final touches. But other than, other than that, um, I have something to do with this dresser. But other than that, it's pretty much smooth sailing. I just gotta put a couple pictures on the wall, put some candles in, and we are almost done. But let me give you a Hey guys, it's your girl, the Handy Home Girl, and I am back with that Stephanie. Shut up. <laughs> now this is my home girl, and actually my very, very, very first home hookup. I will post the video below when I told you in my announcements that I was gonna start doing homie hookups. A homie hookup is when I just go to a homie's house and I hook up their space, and that's what I did for my friend Destoni here, and I did her master bedroom. So what, what colors did we discuss that you think we're gonna be in the room? Uh, We went through Pinterest and we kind of just piggybacked off ideas. So there's one picture that I'm going to show you right now that was kind of like an inspiration picture. It was the only picture that this Sony was like, I like it. I don't know why I like it, but I like it. And I'm like, cool, I'm going to run with that. It was a lot easier than trying to do something else because sometimes I just know she can be very picky. So other than that, <laughs> other than that um, we're going to just jump into the reveal. So she hasn't seen it all day. She's been out. Um, running errands or just hanging down here with Royal while me and Sir were upstairs hanging everything up and painting and doing all this all this other stuff. So we're gonna jump right into the reveal and she's gonna be so surprised. You're gonna love it. Alright, check it out.
Look at the table. That's pretty, isn't it? So I'm going to give you a mini tour of what I DIY'd in the room and what we've known. You could be in it too, so you can kind of tell the tour. So over here, we have the lampshade. I got these lampshades off Craigslist. If you watch my vlog, you they've been watching me buy all your stuff on YouTube. Oh. So like everything has been like people see me buying it. So I got these off Craigslist. The lamps over here for $25. And I didn't like how it was just like, it was all glass, but it just really clashed. You need something to separate between the glass and the blue. So I just taped it off and used um, Rust-Oleum Hammer spray, spray Paint in gold just to add some texture because I didn't want it to look too flat. So I just added some texture um, and then when you spray it, it actually makes it a hammered look. And then at first I was going to spray these but then spraying the shades did not work out. They looked furry. So I just went and got some fabric from Joanne Fabrics and I wrapped it and then I put some bias tape on the trim to make it have a finished look. So wasn't those initially a different color though? Yeah, these were white. These were white with black and blue flowers on it. But then you could just see the flowers, but then it just still just looks yellow. That's nice. And so this is, um, I just think I killed this. I got these off Craigslist for like 30 bucks for the pair. For 30 bucks for the pair, they were like a regular chocolate brown. And then I uh, primed them with Kiehl's paint. Then I took some uh, paint from the Bear paint, which was flashy sapphire. And I just painted those up and that was pretty simple. And then we have all the bedding comes from the at home superstore in Stockbridge. Um, I love that place. All this came from clearance except for her bedding. So like when I told her that like everything was pretty much 75 or 50% off. And the other thing was, I think that was it. That was the only thing. This was only full price. Everything else was on sale. I only shopped at clearance. So go to the at home store if there's one in your city. And this. I saw these online and they're mad expensive, but I simply just took some cardboard, a whole bunch of spoons, and some rope in a mirror. And you created this chrysanthemum looking mirror. But all it is is plastic spoons, play spray painted yellow. That's just so cool. That is, I did not think there was no spoons. <laughs> Yeah, there's spoons. Plastic spoons. I'm pretty sure like she slayed Big Bird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Came back. Spoons. That is too cool. And I've been, uh -huh. and the, and the artwork on the wall also came from the at-home store. Of course, that was already here. And I snuck these in because I remember them showing these when she lived in her old apartment. But I found these in the bathroom and I was like, this side of the room needs more color. And she, our ad kept asking her, I want to put you and James into this space y'all in here all the time together so I wanted to put their artwork so they could think of each other when you're leaving and coming in and have part of them part of their relationship inside of their room and then this dresser over here she she painted the top um already I forgot what original color it was like a brown it like brown very tan tan so she already had this but I was just gonna reface the drawers and um, I gotta get you the real knob I left it at home so I'm gonna give you the other knob so that matches but these, luckily, girl, I found my neighbor gave these to me. They were in his garage. He has a house that looks just like ours, and we were touring his house. He was like, what you want? He was like, he got all this crap. He gave me a chair. And I was like, oh, can I have those? Those would be really cute to come reface the dresser drawers. And I just cut them up, and I primed them, paint them, and then just changed the knobs, and now you have new faces to the dresser. I didn't even realize those weren't my faces on my drawer. No, no, these are your drawers. I just re redid them. And only where this one doesn't have it on because I didn't like that the, this drawer is shorter. So I was like, this one probably just look cool being that way, you know. But I just need to get the right now. And then, of course, these are my Dollar Tree hookups. This is literally a $2 project. I took the plate from Dollar Tree and some tissue paper from, the, from like, party stuff. You take some glue and you glue it to the bottom and you have, like, this really cute decorative tree. Oh. And of course, this all came from the thrift store. Got it from Value Village. This basket and this. And this is her bottle that her mom gave her for her birthday. She wanted it in her room as well. 
in a cute little basket she can store blankets or whatever that she doesn't want to you know just throw it in the basket and this i got from the thrift store as well uh this is the geometric print i will link the tutorial on how to do this geometric print you did that on the table mm -hmm. And then she had all these candles. She has candles everywhere. So I put this candle here. This came from at home. That came from at home. And she already had these candles. This is the, the gold dipped. The uh, curtains and this little thing that is actually has fire in it um, came from at home. These came from Ikea. Oh, and the piece de resistance. The chandelier. My favorite part of the room. The chandelier was correct listed from Craigslist. I got it for $25 and the shade is from my Ikea. You just spray paint it. I got new light bulbs and we didn't electrocute ourselves when we put it together and we have this beautiful piece. So that's the room. I hope, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest at HandyHomeGirl14. And if you are interested in a homey hookup, just let me know. But be in the Atlanta area because I do not travel yet. And also, do you like the shirt that I have on? It says, create the life you love. That means create anything when you come into your home and you want to say, hey, I love where I live. I created it. Pretty much is just verbatim what it says on my shirt. But support, blogger support, bloggers. This is the Handy Home Girl, and I will see you later. Peace. Check out my collection of DIY wear available now at thehandyhomegirl.com. Hey, homies. You can find more DIY tips and tutorials at thehandyhomegirl.com. And stay up to date by subscribing to my blog and my YouTube channel. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. See you later, guys. Bye.